deciding on what I'm going to do next, it's a, initially it's a very uh, selfish endeavor. It, it really sort of boils down to what do I want to do? And sometimes that is what do I need to do as a vehicle right now in this climate to survive? And then sometimes it's just what do I want to do? I think I had come off of a, a very uh, uh, fun and lighthearted film called Million to One that's uh, being released this month in September. And it was very fun and lighthearted and family oriented, which is great, and which I have no problem with. So then I, I don't really like to repeat myself. So really, when I go from one film to the next, it's how, where can I go to push myself? And this film, Iceman, Back to Iceman, is a very sophisticated gangster film. Some films are very plot driven, some films are very character driven. And I think this, I think Iceman is a combination of both. It's a very uh, nuanced film. Sometimes it can be border on uh, uh, funny. There are some interesting characters in there. They sort of bring life and color to the film. But it's really about uh, uh, where loyalty is placed on one end of the film with, with the character Iceman. And then on the other end of the film, where we're talking about plot and movie stuff, it's, it's a very sophisticated sort of story about uh, a, a, a large sort of Elon Musk, uh, uh, Jeff Bezos character moving into Maryland. And how does that affect all the elements of Maryland? Because that, that sort of thing is sort of state changing, right? When you get an Amazon to come into your state or your city or your county, that changes, That's that wipes the board clean and now you start from where and who gets what and how do you how do you decide who gets what and when mm -hmm. and how does that affect the everyone from the 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 more legitimate people in the world to the to the less legitimate organized crime people in the world you know a fixer an organized crime fixer so he's not his name is it sounds like he's this super assassin and he's and that's not what he does uh he's he's more of a fixer he comes in and he brokers deals for people and he makes sure, sure that different entities can get to a resolution without violence, right? However, he is prepared for it if it happens, right? So he's not necessarily the guy, the lawyer that you call or the, um, it, it's when the lawyers break down and you're on the verge of violence. He's the guy that you send in to say, this is it, this is how it's gonna go. I'll get you what you need, you get what you need, and everybody will be happy.